At least a half a million anglers are chomping at the bit to get out on Minnesota lakes for this weekend's fishing opener. But fish this year might not have as much to chomp on. Reporter Meredith Hackler is live on a local lake to explain more. Meredith? Hey Shannon, I am here at Eagle Lake in Maple Grove where the sun isn't shining but it is a little bit warmer than it has been the rest of this week and that is making fishermen rather excited for this weekend's walleye fishing opener. Now this lake is stocked with walleye but there is one fly in the fishing ointment. Fishermen might have a hard time finding some of the live bait they need to fish. Golden Shiners. Fishing is, is a big part of Minnesota culture. One of the most wonderful walleye baits that are out there right now. Opening day is Saturday and fishermen could have a hard time finding their favorite live bait. This time of year the water's cold so live bait becomes a key factor. This year we do have a little bit of a shortage. It's been kind of the trend the last three years, but this year seems to be worse than others. This time of year, this bait tank is usually filled with sucker minnows, but due to the bait shortage, there's currently nothing in there. Mainly shiners and sucker minnows. Those two things were hit the hardest. Some of the ponds, they, they if they didn't freeze out completely, they almost did, or the water's still too cold and the minnows won't trap. But I'm hearing some horror stories from my bait guy now as far as some of his ponds that have just completely died off no oxygen at all. So it's going to take a little time for those ponds to rejuvenate these, these uh, bait fish. Well, Big B's bait and tackle has a large amount of shiner minnows. They'll be selling at a premium since they're hard to come by. It's due to cold weather and, and too much snow, longer winter, late ice out, uh, etc. like that. But there's a lot of different alternatives that they can use. Once the weather starts to warm up, the water will too. We could end up having a better bite down here. Which should have a positive effect on the shortage. Some of the ponds that aren't producing right now, they still have viable bait fish in them. They are definitely going to trap. However, until then, Bryant Sular says there are great lures you can use instead. You know, say the new googly eyes, uh, jigs, very popular. You can pair this up with a plastic, say something simple like a Mr. Twister, and that is going to produce fish also. Now, bait shop owners also blame Minnesota law for the bait shortage. Bait shops are not allowed to transport live bait over state lines from states like, say, Wisconsin, which are not suffering from as much of a bait shortage as we are here in Minnesota. Live in Maple Grove, Meredith Hackler, CCX News.